Hey everyone, it's Walker at Full Spectrum Laser and welcome to another software tutorial for beginners. Today I want to talk to some talk about something that uh, a lot of beginners and, and I would say people in general ask about and that is uh, power settings. Now power settings is a tricky one because I feel it is sort of the more you use your laser, the more you understand about power settings. It's sort of becoming that master sort of situation. Um, but I do understand for beginners, it is definitely one that's not easy to grasp. And the question arises, why don't we have default power settings? Um, and I will say that's because there are many variables, many, many variables. Um, other companies have set uh, materials that they just place in the machine and it has those set power settings. And that's because they made those materials. They, you know, they have the quality made exactly the same every time. Our system's a little more open and we allow you to order from anywhere. So whatever you would like to cut, you can. Let's say you go to a local craft store and they have uh, eighth inch wood that you really want to cut. Well, that's not going to have the same power setting as an eighth inch wood from another store. Could be a different wood, could be a different manufacturer. It could be more dense or less dense, have more glue, less glue. There's all sorts of variables. So there's variables on the material. That's why it's not an easy answer. I wish there was an easy answer, but there isn't. Um, it's just one of those things. Now there's variables in materials and there's variables in machines themselves. Your machine could cut totally different uh, in comparison to another one. And the reason why that is, is because uh, alignment. If you're not aligned properly, the same as another machine, it won't cut the same. If your optics are dirty, let's say you've been using your machine like crazy and it's just uh, not firing like it used to, your optics are probably dirty. You just need to maintain it a little bit better and uh, get back to those power settings. Um, also tubes, tubes slightly vary. Um, you know, you could, when you order a 45 watt tube, it could be 45 watt and a little up as well. A lot of times it's actually firing a little higher than um, it's actually rated for, which is a good thing for you. Um, but back to power settings, it's just not that simple. There are many variables. Like I said, I think wood is a great example because it's such an organic, imperfect material and human beings try to, you know, make it flat and square and, you know, do the human stuff to it and try to make it uniform. But that's not the case always. Um, so when it comes to power settings, we'll just do an example. We'll grab a circle. We will make it even for OCD purposes. And, uh, and yeah, we'll go over here. And this is where your cut power settings are going to be, your vector cuts um, or vector marks, depending on what you want. So we have our speed at 100, power at 70, current at 100, and one pass. This is important to know because all of these things allow your cut to come out the way you want it to. It's a very cool open system. That uh, color is orange. If we want to change that color, yellow. If we want to do a, uh, you know, a different color, we will simply do a different color that we can, like, let's say, we want one cut and one vector marked. So we can select that color to be a super weak 10 power. And then this one, we will change the color to purple. Now we have a purple and a yellow. And the significance of this is that power setting. I want to cut out that purple and just lightly sort of draw with that not cut it's like a just a marking so it's slightly mark the yellow 
and then cut out the purple. Um, a lot of people will use text and do a quick vector mark, not cutting all the way through, and then cut the circle out. So back to general power settings. Well, actually, let's control Z. Let's undo that, undo. We have both our guys here. Let's make that purple again. Uh-oh. Yeah, we'll make him purple. So my bad. I got ahead of myself. So we will talk um, these two colors. Not only can you set different power settings to these, you can have them go in different orders. This is important because you always want your vector marks to mark first and then cut out. Uh, also other applications, there could be tons of other things you use that for, but this is the layer system. And on your actual design side, you have this same layer system. You can drag and drop importance on that side or on this side, and it will do one before the other. Uh, it is sequential. Now, we talked power settings. It's not an easy answer, unfortunately. You are gonna to have to learn a little bit about your specific material and application. But we do have, in the newest uh, update, we do have default power settings. Let's move my head and we will go edit materials and we will select yeah, our 45 watt. We, we're just doing this for the core, for example. We're doing a vector and these will be your default settings for acrylic let's see quarter inch acrylic you want to cut that these are the speeds that we set now these aren't perfect by any means you can dial these in um like i said too many variables uh but these are what we suggest and you can adjust from there and save them that's what's most important you can say oh no I need to speed this up. That, that edge is extremely melty, whatever it may be. You do that and create it. That's simple. For example, I'm going to make a new one. So we will, uh, let's keep it seasonal, burlap. Well, I'm gonna make some pumpkin designs or something for Halloween. We will do uh, yeah, I'm guessing with the Muse, probably power 50, speed 80, and passes one. It is fabric, technically. And you'll get better at guessing power settings as time goes along. Um, so we're going to create that. Make sure it comes in here. We're going to update. I believe update and hit OK. Now... We want to go back to our circle cut or purple. You'll see the default power settings for purple. Um, you can change those as well, but this is just another way. And we can select our new custom, uh, custom material power setting. And it's that easy. If you want to do tests, I like to do tests with the material test that's on our website or the actual circle, like just make a circle like this, make it real small and do a test cut, dial in your power, especially if it's a weird material like burlap or something that's special to you, then dial in that power, save it in the materials. We also have a printout on the website that shows your materials, that way you can keep it with your machine, all sorts of different ways to uh, skin the cat. So. I hope that helps a little bit with the idea of power settings and showing you the new material feature in the software uh, update of October 2020. So guys, have fun, be safe. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. We will get to them. We are here to help you. That's our job. So I think until next time, keep making.